Spencer and Caitlin, when I started crafting this message in preparation for today's ceremony, I landed on three things I wanted to share. The importance of marriage, a few tips for a lasting love, and what my hopes and dreams are for you. I want to pause this moment, stay just like this, before it's out in the open, before it's serious. I have hopes and dreams and prayers for you, but time won't allow to share everything that's in my heart. So let me offer my thoughts in the form of a vision of what lies over that far horizon. I can't believe it's your wedding day. You truly make the most beautiful bride. Spencer, you look pretty good too. <laughs> I remember when Caitlin and I were sitting in the dining hall together and she was telling me about how she wanted to become official with this boy who was almost 600 miles away. At first I thought she was crazy, but then I thought to myself how special this boy must be. And here we are, seven years later, and I can confirm that he is pretty darn special. All right, you guys can turn around. You got your eyes locked on me in a different way. Like you really saw me, and now you can't think straight. Something's changing inside your heart, and I can't take it. Caitlin is, is so thoughtful and so considerate and she's one of my favorite people to talk to because you can always count on her to give a really honest, really genuine, and a really meaningful response. Caitlin, it's been an absolute honor to have known you for the past seven years. We're very, very thankful you're in our family. We're thankful that the Campbells and Goulds have finally officially come together. You've just really just opened up a new road for Spencer and know that as older brothers for Spencer, we know that he's in great hands with you. So we're very, very grateful for that. So stop looking at me like that, like that. I don't know what's in store from you from this day to that. I see the two of you, many years from now, sitting on a beach, reminiscing over your photographs and memories, reflecting on a life of love, faith, and hope, of strength, courage, and wisdom, of gratitude, generosity, and patience, of fun, forgiveness, and endurance. And in the contentment of that moment, I see you looking into each other's eyes, patting each other's old worn hands, and saying, we did it. We did it. Like Spence, I wouldn't change a thing. And, uh, whew. <laughs> Being your older brother is one of the greatest joys of my life. I, I totally live for it. Every, every special moment means so much to me. And I love you guys. I'm so grateful to be a part of your lives. And, you know, so excited for the many more special moments to come. Caitlin is brilliant. Caitlin is hardworking. She is thoughtful and she is so incredibly caring. Caitlin, all of these things make you a great nurse and an awesome daughter, sister, and friend. And now my favorite of those titles, a wife. Because we have a brother, we always have a friend. And now that we have a sister, again, we are so thankful to have another friend. So we'd love to raise a glass to passion, love, forgetting things maybe every now and then, but most importantly, the love that Caitlin and Spencer are sharing tonight. We've watched you grow into a beautiful, driven young woman with a plan. My struggle has been between wanting you to stay forever and being excited about all the amazing things you and Spencer will do. I'm incredibly proud that you're my daughter and love you being my friend. As my thoughts were coming together for tonight and I considered any advice that I may have that resonates with you, I returned often to the thought of your life's journey so far and continuing that walk that you are now taking together. A few weeks ago, I was cleaning out an old camera bag and found a Ziploc bag with a scribbled note and a few things inside. Reviewing the contents, I went back in time to a beach trip 24 years ago in a special moment. Caitlin's first walk on the beach as a toddler when she was about 15 months old. 
We made our way down to the edge of the water where the grip on my pinky got stronger. With her other hand, she reached down into the wet sand and grabbed a handful and stood up staring at her clenched fist, looking like she knew she made a mistake picking up a handful of gross. Love it. For that moment, just as you were about to cry and ask to be picked up, you opened your hand and found magic. You looked up at me with the biggest smile and just laughed. This shell, I put in a baggie 25 years ago and forgot about it. Until I found it last week. As we celebrate together tonight with a room full of family and friends who will send you out into the world to grow as you go, I wish you love, but I know you have it. I wish you patience, and I know you'll need it. I wish for you eyes to see the best in each other and hearts that forgive the worst. I wish you joy, remember not to delay it. Here's to ticket stubs and baggage tags. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Bueller. I wish you this, that you remember that after all the challenges you have melted away, you still hold in your hands the magic of a wonderful life. And in 30 years, if you have the opportunity that I have tonight to stand up to celebrate love, that you'll be able to look around and see family and friends that have helped turn your love story into a life story. And realize that the life is the sum of all your memorable experiences and unhistoric acts. I love you both forever now. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our final round.